I would like to welcome Brenda Babur. She is Acting Director of Strategy and Operations and Manager of the Knowledge Management and Communications Department of the Independent Evaluation Group of the World Bank. And she's representing the Global Evaluation Initiative today. So a warm welcome to Brenda. Good to have you with us. Hi, Steffi. Thank you for welcoming. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone here. Thanks. Well, today, Brenda, is the International Women's Day. And uh, where do you see IPDET's responsibility to support women in evaluation or through evaluation? Thanks, Steffi. I, I also want to start by saying something about the war in Ukraine, because yes. I think that, Go ahead. Um, you know, the, it, there's a lot of sadness about the devastating human loss that the war has caused, but I also think we have hope for an end to the conflict. And as you said, evaluation has a role to play. So I want to acknowledge that we're holding both the, the sadness, but also the role that we have to play to bring evidence to help uh, make the world a better place. So on women and evaluation, Evaluation has already generated strong evidence suggesting that empowering women to actively participate in all domains of society yields better results, enhancing economic growth, reducing inequality, and as Steffi mentioned, women's participation in peace processes contributes to longer, more resilient peace after conflict. So m and &E can play an important role in improving gender equality by helping decision makers understand how to promote equality through better programs and policies. And professional, evaluator, professional evaluators must pay attention to how women are cared for and potentially harmed by the evaluation process. Throughout the evaluation life cycle, we can incorporate approaches to gender that will both enrich our findings and produce evaluations that more consistently highlight challenges of women. So I'll share a few examples. We can, of course, put in place safeguards to prevent harm to women respondents, evaluators, or partners when analyzing data, disaggregate by sex and geography, and when communicating evaluation findings, use language that does not reinforce stereotypes of women. The Global Evaluation Initiative is committed to incorporating gender equality and inclusion in its work. And as a key implementing partner of GEI, IPDET can make and has made important contributions by ensuring its training equips practitioners around the world with skills to incorporate gender and inclusion in their work, raising awareness of gender issues through its strong alumni network and helping further develop the cadre of women m and &E specialists. I was impressed to see what a high percentage of your participants are already women. So um, keep up the good work. We will definitely, we will try our best and it's uh, definitely one important aspect of our work in the future. So if that celebrates its 20th anniversary, what are the main reasons to celebrate this anniversary from your point of view? Well, there are many reasons to celebrate if that uh, 20 years, that's an impressive track record. And Throughout those years, you've shown a dedication to providing high quality training to a wide, wide range of evaluation stakeholders. I understand that you've supported nearly 4,000 evaluation stakeholders in learning about cutting edge m and theories and practices. The rigor of the IPDEC course, along with the technical expertise of its instructors, make the program unique. If that's continued success over 20 years speaks to its quality and relevance. I also want to celebrate the community focus of IPDET. It's a global training program, but it also has created this thriving community of alumni. And in that community, you foster ongoing peer learning and you represent the global evaluation community at its best. 
And finally, I want to celebrate that spirit of innovation. When the COVID-19 pandemic broke out, the IPDET team ramped up approaches to reaching the community in new ways. So your online workshops and your community building events have allowed you to reach an even more diverse global audience. So congratulations on 20 years, and I look forward to seeing what the next 20 years will bring. Yeah, we're looking forward to the next 20 years also. Uh, but first, this year, we will have a big party here on site in Bern, as we hopefully will be able to, to be all together back uh, on site in, in Bern. Um, so if that is a core partner of the Global Evaluation Initiative of GEI, so why is it relevant to have IPDET as a partner within GEI? And what is IPDET's value added to GEI? Well, IPDET's an important part of GEI. You know, GEI is built on the premise that effective monitoring evaluation systems and practices are essential to effective decision making. And in many developing and emerging economies, the capacity to provide quality ME services is insufficient. So we need to strengthen evaluation capacity global. And programs like IPDET, bringing global expertise and local best practices together, allow key stakeholders in evaluation to develop the vital skills they need. With the 20 years of experience in providing m and &E training to global stakeholders, IPDET is a key player in our efforts to support better understanding and use of evaluation for policy and decision making. IPDET is a well-established provider of high quality monitoring and evaluation training with experience delivering, as I said, both in-person and online services. So it is one of the key programs contributing to GEI's goal to strengthen m and &E capacity globally. And for IPDET, it's equally important to contribute to GEI's objectives, definitely. And we can only applaud to IEG to, is to have established this global evaluation in it initiative with so many partners all around the world. So there will be many, many synergies and cooperations we are looking, we're looking forward. And we are definitely willing um, to contribute to that uh, successful uh, GEI. Thank One more question, Brenda. Um, now to have more uh, like an international global view, what are the current challenges in the field of evaluation you see and how should IPDEP respond to those? Well, as you mentioned at the beginning, these are extraordinarily challenging times with the war in the Ukraine and Europe, the numerous impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic, the climate crisis, rising conflict around the world, exacerbated social inequalities. So m and &E practitioners today are working in a world where per capita incomes have been declining, inequality is rising, and we are seeing reversals of development gains of the past 50 years. So to respond to these challenges, m and &E professionals must be forward-looking, innovative, inclusive. Now, IPDET, along with the entire GEI network, has a crucial role to play in ensuring that m and &E systems and practices enable developing countries to respond better to crises and development needs. With the right skills and expertise, m and &E practitioners can generate the evidence needed to respond to today's challenges. Global training programs are essential to developing a cohort of evaluators ready to take on the task. Thank you so much, Brenda, for your words and for your insights and for it that it's a huge responsibility, but we are ready to take this responsibility, although in also, also in 2022, and we hope to continue to effectively contribute to GI's objectives and to the evaluation community and to the field of evaluation as a whole. And um, it will be hard work. And especially in, in the face of uh, the war in Europe, um, it, 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 it's like it's this overarching challenge and which, which leaves us kind of speechless, but also um, further, uh, we should be encouraged to, to further engage in, in evaluation because evaluation stands for, for truth and transparency. And, yeah, and further strengthening democracies. Um, and later on, um, hopefully, 
Uh, we will have Olha Krasovska with us. Um, she's head of the board of the Ukrainian Evaluation, Evaluation Association. So hopefully that will work out that she can speak to us and, and explain a little bit more about the situation. But thank you so much, Brenda, for um, being with us and supporting IPDAT and Absolutely. looking forward to, to see you soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. And again, happy International Women's Day and congratulations yes. on IPDAT. Thank you very much, Brenda. Bye-bye.